come to the tutorial on using Sage. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to learn the range of things for which Sage can be used, know the functions used for calculus in Sage, learn about graph theory and number theory using Sage. Before beginning this tutorial, we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on getting started with Sage. Let us begin with calculus. We shall be looking at limits, differentiation, integration and Taylor polynomial. We have our Sage notebook running. In case you don't have it running, start using commands. So you can type Sage, then you'll see you can open the notebook. So to find the limit of functions x star sine 1 by x at x is equal to 0, we say by typing it lim within brackets x star sine within brackets 1 by x comma x is equal to 0. We get the limit to be 0 as expected. It is also possible to limit at a point from one direction. For example, let us find the limit of 1 by x at x is equal to 0 when approaching from a positive side. Lim within brackets 1 by x comma x is equal to 0 comma dir is equal to within single quotes right. To find the limit from the ne negative side we say Lim within brackets 1 by x comma x is equal to 0 comma dir is equal to within single quotes left. Let us see how to perform differentiation using Sage. We shall find the differentia differential of the expression exp within bracket sine into x x square by x w dot r dot t x. For this, we shall first define the expression and then use the DIF of function to obtain the differential of expression. That is, you can type VAR within brackets in single quotes x. Then next line, f is equal to sine within brackets sine x x square by x. And then third line, you can type DIF within brackets f comma x. Then we can also obtain the partial differentiation of an expression WRT, one of the variables. Let us differentiate the expression EXP within bracket sine y minus x square by x. W, R, T, X and Y. That is with respect to x and y. So you can type VAR within brackets in single quotes x space y. Then in second line you can type f is equal to exp within bracket sign and again in brackets y minus x square by x. Then you can type diff within brackets f comma x. Then next line you can type diff within brackets f comma y. Thus we get our partial differential solution. Now let us look at integration. We shall use the expression obtained from the differentiation that we did before. That is DIF of within brackets F comma Y, which gives us the expression e raised to sine minus x square plus y multiplied by cos minus x square plus y by x. The integrate command is used to obtain the integral of an expression or fraction function. So you can type integrate within bracket e raised to sine minus x square plus y multiplied by cos minus x square plus y by x comma y in the bracket. As we can see we get back the correct expression. The minus sign being inside or outside the sign function does not change much. Now let us find the value of the integral function. Integral between the limit 0 and 5 by 2. So for that you can type integral e raised to sine minus x square plus y 
multiplied by cos minus x square plus y by x then y then comma 0 comma pi that is pi by 2 then hence we got our solution for definite integration now let us see how to obtain the Taylor expansion of an expression using sage let us obtain the Taylor expansion of x plus 1 raised to n up to degree 4 about 0 so for that you can type var within bracket x space n in single quotes then type Taylor within bracket x plus 1 raised to n comma x comma 0 comma 4 we easily got the Taylor expansion using the Taylor function so this brings us to the end of the features of Sage for calculus that will be looking that we are looking at for more look at the calculus quick reference for Sage wiki next let us move on to matrix algebra let us begin with solving the equation ax is equal to v where a is the matrix matrix 1 comma 2 3 comma 4 and v is the vector vector 1 comma 2 so to solve the equation ax is equal to v we simply say a is equal to matrix 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 then v is equal to vector 1 comma 2 then x is equal to a dot solve underscore right within brackets v then you have to type then type x to solve an equation x a is equal to v we simply say x is equal to a dot solve underscore left within brackets v then type x the left and right here denote the position of a relative to x now let us look at graph theory in Sage we shall look at some ways to create graphs and some of the graph fami families available in Sage the simplest way to define the arbitrary graph is to use dictionary of list we create a simple graph by using the graph function so g is equal to you can type g is equal to graph within brackets and in curly braces 0 colon within square brackets 1 2 3 comma 2 colon in again square brackets 4 and hit shift enter to view the visual visualization of the graph we say g dot show closing bracket similarly we can obtain a directed graph using the di graph function so you have to type g is equal to di graph that is d and g are capital then within brackets in curly braces 0 colon within square brackets 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma then in then 2 colon within square brackets again 4 and hit shift enter Sage also provides a lot of graph fam families which can be viewed by typing graph.tab let us obtain a complete graph with 5 vertices and then show the graph so you can type there g is equal to graph dot complete graph within bracket 5 then type g dot show then closing bracket Sage provides other functions for number theory and combinatri combinatorics let us give a glimpse let us have a glimpse of a few of them so prime underscore range gives primes in the range 100 to 200 so you can type the prime underscore range within brackets 100 comma 200 
So is prime is underscore prime checks if thousand nine hundred ninety nine is a prime number or not. So for that you can type is underscore prime with in brackets one nine 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 and hit shift enter. So you'll get the answer. Factor two thousand one gives the factorized form of two thousand one. So to to see that you can type factor with the bracket two thousand one and hit shift enter. So you can see the value in the output. So the permutations function gives the permutations of one comma two comma three comma four. So for that you can type c is equal to permutation within bracket one comma two comma three comma four. And next, you can type c dot list, then closing bracket, and the combinations function gives all the combinations of one comma two comma three comma four. For that, you have to type c is equal to combinations, then is in bracket one comma two comma three comma four, and type c dot list, then closing bracket. So now you can see the Solution screen. So this brings us to the end of the tutorial. So in this tutorial, we have learned to use functions for calculus like lim function to find the limit of function, DIF function to find out the differentiation of an expression, then integrate function to integrate over an expression, integral. integral to find find out the definite integral of an expression by specifying the limit then solve function to solve a function relative to its position then create both a simple graph and a directed graph using the functions graph and digraph respectively then use functions for number theory say for example prime underscore range function to find out the prime numbers within the specified range then factor function to find out the factorized form of the specified number then permutation functions and combination functions to obtain the required permutation and combination for the given set of values so here are some self assessment questions for you to solve first one how do you find the limit of the function x by sin x as x tends to 0 from the negative side second question list all the prime numbers between 2009 and 2900 then third one solve the system of linear equations x minus 2y plus 3 z is equal to 72x Is equal to seven. Then two x plus three y minus z is equal to five. X plus two y plus four is equal to four z is equal to nine. So now we can look at the answer. To find out the limit of an expression from the negative side, we add an argument d i r is equal to left as l i m is in brackets x by sine x comma x is equal to zero comma d i r With a uh, double quote left, and for the second question, the prime numbers from 2009 and 2900 can be obtained as prime underscore range with a bracket 2009 comma 2901. And the third question's answer is, we shall first write the equations in matrix form and then use solve function. So you can type a is equal to matrix one comma minus two comma three. Then two comma three comma minus one. Then one comma two comma four. Then b is equal to vector seven comma five comma nine. Then x is equal to a dot solve underscore write within brackets b. Then type x so that you can view the output of the x. So we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Thank you.